Hey guys, May Flom here, and I'm at my card making again, this time with a horse stamp. I just wanted to tell you my favorite combination right now is watercolor paper, archival ink for my stamp, because that means that it will not bleed or react with color mediums. And then if there's any spots, using a micron pen, favorite thing to use right now, to touch up the stamp. You're not gonna notice this after it's colored, so don't hesitate to just touch it up. Don't think that it's ruined. And then I'm really loving some metallic golden watercolors, and I'll put a link in the description below, and clean color pens. Now I also have what you saw me just pull out there, that's my Sakura Field watercolor palette. I love that too. I love mixing and matching, and these are the things I'm mixing and matching most right now in this format, and that's just me adding some water to my golden uh, watercolors and then also to my paper itself because I want it to be really like bleedy, watercolory, really loose. So if I have a wet paper down first, it's going to pull more and be way more loose than if the paper was dry. It's a different effect and it's a lot of fun. And as you can see here, I'm just going to kind of play with it. But this combination has really been my favorite to make kind of just artsy fun cards that really don't need much besides me coloring and blending my colors and then me adding a sentiment and sending off my card. I really do enjoy, and I'm putting some tape down just to prevent this from lifting up in the middle and making kind of funky watercolor puddles. So I'm really, really enjoying this process right now, most especially, I think, because it's really giving me some fun results and unpredictable results, which is something that I really like, especially for watercolor and card making. It's just a card. I mean, bottom line, it's just a card, guys. We're not investing tons of money into this. I'm always using what I have. These particular products, I've had these clean color pens for years. I, that looks new and shiny, but I've had a field set. That one was provided to me for filming, and I've just, it's replaced my old one. My old field set, I want to say it was like eight years old. I mean, I've had it for quite a while. And those golden watercolors that you see there are at least three or four years old. I know, again, they look new, but that's just because the surface stays really shiny after I use it. So anyhow, my point is I'm really using the stuff I've got. This horse stamp is pretty old too. Using what I've got, having fun with it, playing with it, reusing it a lot has just been super, super great for me because it's really helping me to get more life out of my supplies, save my budget. And I'm just touching up with a little pen here and there now. And I'm really overall just really happy with this combo of kind of an artsy feeling card, but also super simple to make and super fun and easy to create. I would love to know card making. What are you looking for? What do you need help with? What would you like to see videos on? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.